they wonderful? They drive me crazy. They're all blondes and everyone's almost as beautiful as I am. <laughs> Especially Alvino. <laughs> Well, you know, I haven't given up. I know you look at me, you think I've given up. I have not. I was today at the beauty parlor four times. They wouldn't let me in. <laughs> Makes me so mad. I confronted him today. I said, look, you've been putting all this expensive stuff on my face all these years. Why don't I get better looking? He said, you've built up an immunity. <laughs> I am in the 14th year of a 10-day beauty plan. <laughs> I slosh so much cream on my body and all over at night, I have to wear snow chains to hold up my gown. <laughs> We've got more grease stains in our bedroom than in the garage. I asked Fang to kiss me goodnight the other night. He got up and put on his work clothes. <laughs> and then one night he surprised me. He wanted to kiss me. I found out later why. He had chapped lips. <laughs> oh, I will not give up. When I go to the scalp clinic, I'm going to try to grow some lovely hair, too. <laughs> I told him I just wanted beautiful hair. They said, stay on your head. So for months, I stood on my head. You know what I got? Dandruff on my feet. <laughs> ridiculous. And now my life is beginning to be complicated by old age. I had no idea it starts so young. <laughs> Would you believe I've got tired blood? <laughs> Some mornings I'm up for hours before my blood. <laughs> the other day I got up, one hand was asleep. I had to go back to bed till it woke up. <laughs> And I've got a body that just won't start. I'm in such bad shape, I wear prescription underwear. Tonight, I am wearing suppos clear to my neck. And you get dry and brittle when you get old. My skin is so dry, I've been declared a fire hazard. Talk about brittle, I had to give up exercising altogether. I can't stand the noise. My feet hurt so bad, I soaked them in ivy leaves and vinegar. Now I not only have corns, I've got a vine growing out of my big toe. And I'm turning gray. Not my hair, my skin. And I'm nothing but a mass of spare parts. In the morning, I don't get dressed, I get assembled. I just got my armpits dry, now my elbows leak. And my G-string is clear down to D-flat. Of course, you realize this is not my own chest. This is a transplant. I think it's somebody's back. Oh, dear, oh, dear. But now, I'm not knocking old age. You understand. I think it's a beautiful thing. I hope to live to be 100. I don't think people expect so darn much of you at that age. When they start bossing you around, I bet you could look them right in the eye and say, I'm pooped. And if I make it, I know exactly how I'm going to play it. I'm going to be a sweet, innocent, little white-haired old lady with a cane full of gin. <laughs> how would you stay sweet any other way at that age? <laughs> and I may make it. My grandfather's 105. Of course, he's been dead for 20. <laughs> and he's still at the head of the table. <laughs> oh, we can hardly eat. Nothing will kill a meal quicker than one person not enjoying it. <laughs>